three weeks without alcohol and wine, no wine. And this is what you get. Hey guys, it's Vivian the Psalm next door. I just completed one month without any wine. So I want to share with you guys today what happens to you when you stop drinking wine and alcohol for one month. So we're going to talk about how that affected me mentally, socially, physically. Did I lose weight? If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. So I was not planning to do this at all. Like I did not partake in dry January. Like I really did not partake in dry January. There was weddings. So this really came about because I just start taking antibiotics in February. And so I was kind of out of commission for 10 days. And because of that, you know, I was like, oh, well, I'm already a third of the way through a month. So why don't we do it a little experiment to see what happens? And let's let's get a baseline. I think you guys have kind of seen some of my consumption, at least on camera, but not so much off camera. So I would say I probably drink on average, probably like five to seven drinks per week, which according to, you know, the science and medical community, that's pretty moderate. Seven drinks per week for a female and 14 drinks for a male per week is moderate, which I'm like, whoa, you guys get double. I would say like my patterns are There'll be probably like two days in a week where I'll drink and like those are probably higher. And then the other days I don't really drink. So it averages out to around like five to seven drinks, but then, you know, maybe some days are heavier than others. It was kind of more difficult towards the beginning when I was like thinking about it. Honestly, it was kind of a bummer. I missed open that bottle night, which is the last Saturday of February. And within like the wine community, it's when you open a bottle that you've been holding on to and you didn't really have an occasion. And then, you know, t I did go to a bar and not drink. At a bar, not drink. Proof. Okay, I will say there was one instance where I did cheat. One cocktail, one beer. So I did have two drinks one day. But other than that, like, not a, nothing zilch. Yeah, like socially probably wasn't the greatest, but I still made it work. And, you know, I learned how to make some mean mocktails. My cucumber lime cocktail. Not bad. Check out this recipe, which was super, super tasty. As a cocktail, you could just like spike it or by itself. So, so good and refreshing. One of the benefits that they were saying is if you cut out alcohol, your mood is better because alcohol is technically a depressant, which, you know, not always the case. For some people, drinking a lot will make them more anxious, uh, mood swings and all that stuff. Did I really experience any lift in that? Not so much. I think more so because it's getting warmer and like there's more sunlight. So that for me is probably what's boosting my mood. So not so much about the mood booster. So drinking typically disrupts your sleep cycle, not to mention just like if you're like for me, a lot of times if I hang out with friends, it's a late night, even though that one time that I went to the bar without drinking, it was a later night, but I didn't wake up like hungover. I probably did get more sleep, especially on the nights where like I would drink a little bit more. Alcohol disrupts your stomach and the digestive enzymes. So for me, it's probably more like the times when I, I get the munchies and then I'm eating cheese or chips or something towards the end of the night. And then it leads me to get like bloated in the morning. So yeah, those weren't that great. But to be honest, like those are now as I get older, fewer, not as frequent, but yes, I don't have moments where I'm as bloated, which is great. Alcohol is very dehydrating. Please remember to drink water while you're drinking, usually one glass per every drink, which sometimes I'm not good about, but I, I'm typically good about drinking a lot of water throughout 
PJ. Skin wise, you know, to be honest, it's it's okay. I don't think there was that much benefit. We're in my bathroom right now. I just want to do a skin update and it is not the best today. I am like breaking out right here, but I put foundation on, which probably is not helping. Probably more because it's almost that time of the month and the weather is changing. Real talk, I mean, my skin kind of feels the same, but I will say when I've been drinking a lot, my face does get a little puffier in the morning and I have to like de-puff it. So yes, I didn't have to deal with that as much, which is great. Did I lose weight throughout this journey? For a average five ounce pour, of wine, it's typically 120 calories. One gram of alcohol is seven calories. So if you have higher alcohol, there's more calories in it. So when you're getting into that 14.5, 15%, it's gonna be closer to like 130, 135. And then if you have a wine that's like more like 10%, 11%, like a dry white, that's gonna be more like 100, 110. Now I was, drinking in February some sweet wines and that's even more. It's probably closer to like 160, 165 calories per glass. So if I did seven drinks at 120 calories each, that's 840 calories per week. Multiply that out for the whole month, that's 3,360 calories. Not to mention, like I was telling you that while I drink, I like to, you know, eat food. Maybe I'll like eat some crackers and stuff like that. If you just purely think about the wine, that's close to one pound because one pound is 3,500 calories. So I did weigh myself throughout the process. So this is three weeks in to not drinking any alcohol. Definitely do need to do some more squats. All right. It's the final weigh-in. So yes, I did lose weight. It really came down to around a little more than one pound for the whole month, which, you know, is probably to be expected. So that's a nice little side effect. That's nice. So here are my takeaways from this whole experience. So am I gonna stop drinking completely? No. No, 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 that's probably just not realistic. Plus I have a whole fridge over here filled with wine. I'm not gonna like, what am I gonna do? I guess I could give it away. But I think what I've learned is like moderation and like not every social situation has to be surrounded by alcohol. Like am I doing a wine tasting next week? Hosting a wine tasting? Yeah, so I mean, what are you gonna do? But yes, like moderation is key. Am I gonna be trying to be more mindful? Yes. Maybe during my hauls, I won't have as big of a pour, depending on the wine. If the wine's not good, maybe I don't drink as much, you know? So yes, those are my takeaways from this. But I'll say like, wow, you can really see results in a month. And I can only imagine if I did this more, longer i probably see more results i kind of respect dry january i respect you know if people want to take a moment i think it's all about balance right i think that's why the french paradox exists a glass here and there it's perfectly fine and healthy it's really when you're like you know drinking a lot then it can harm you but yes you guys that was my journey my 30-day journey and what happened to me i don't have wine i should fix that since now i'm okay but cheers you guys i'll catch you guys later i mean i'm gonna chug this now
Maybe my mood is better. Uh, 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 but I would still 